Hello students, I am here once again to discuss interpersonal skills and under interpersonal skills we are doing body language. Uh, we are discussing the various aspects of body language uh, which are so important to make our discussion, conversation, language fruitful, meaningful. Body language is a vital part of interpersonal communication, we all know that. In fact, a very large part of having good communication skills has to do with one's body language and this type of communication is much more powerful and effective than any word that can be said. This important type of communication is one of the first things people will notice when they meet you. Believe it or not, being able to read body language well can help get you further in life whether it be for business or personal reason. So, see how important such conversation, such type of body language is. Have you ever taken a moment to think about what you are saying with your body language or how you are coming across to others? If you have not, then now is the time, this is the high time to think the importance of body language. And the very famous quote, the way we communicate with others and with ourselves ultimately determines the quality of our lives, very true. The entire success story depends on our body language, especially in a world of professionalism. To use gestures effectively, leaders need to be aware of how those movements will most likely be perceived. Well, here are four common hand gesture and the messages behind them. So, let us discuss what are those four important gestures to strengthen your body language. Hidden hands. Hidden hands make you look less trustworthy. This is one of the non-verbal signals that is deeply ingrained in our subconscious. Our ancestors made survival decisions based solely on bits of visual information they picked up from one another. In our prehistory, when someone approached with hands out of view, it was a signal of potential danger. Although today the threat of hidden hand is more symbolic than real, our ingrained psychological discomfort remains. Finger pointing, the second one is finger pointing. I have often seen executive use this gesture in meetings, negotiations or interviews for emphasis or to show dominance. The problem is that aggressive finger pointing can suggest that the leader is losing control of the situation and the gesture is max of parental scolding or playground bullying. Next is enthusiastic gestures. There is an interesting equation of hand and arm movement with energy. If you want to project more enthusiasm and drive, you can do so by increased gesturing. On the other hand, over gesturing especially when hands are raised above the shoulders. Remember, when hands are raised above the shoulders can make you appear erratic, less believable and less powerful. Grounded gesture, this is the third important aspect of body language and gesture. Arms held at waist height and gestures within that horizontal plane help you and the audience feel centered and composed. Arms at waist and bend to a 45 degree angle accompanied by a stance about shoulder width wide will also help you 
to keep grounded, energized and focused. So, remember this point. Your most influential communication medium is, is still face to face. In spite of all technicality and important uh, gesture, face to face is one of the important aspects of body language. In this fast paced techno charged era of email, text, teleconferences and video chats, one universal truth remains. Face to face is the most preferred, productive and powerful communication medium. In fact, the more business leaders communicate electronically, the more pressing becomes the need for personal interaction. In face to face meetings, our brains process the continual cascade of nonverbal cues that we use as the basis for building trust and professional intimacy. Face to face interaction is information rich. We interpret what people say to us only partially from the word they use. We get most of the message and all of the emotional nuance behind the words from vocal tone, pacing, facial expressions and other non-verbal non cues. And we rely on immediate feedback, the instantaneous responses of others to help us gauze how well our ideas are being accepted. So potent is the nonverbal link between individuals that when we are in genuine rapport with someone, we subconsciously match our body positions, movements and even our breathing rhythm with theirs. Most interesting in face to face encounters, the brain's mirror neurons mimic not just behaviors but sensations and feelings as well. When we are denied these interpersonal cues and are forced to rely on the printed or a spoken word alone, the brain struggles and real communication suffers. Technology may be a great facilitator for factual information, but meeting in person is the key to positive employee and client relationships. Regardless of how tech savvy you may be, face to face meetings are still the most effective way to capture the attention of participants, engage them in the conversation and drive productive collaboration. In this regard, the view may be if it is not that important send an email. If it is important but not mission critical, pick up the phone. If it is critically important to the success of your organization, go see someone. So, see how important face to face conversation is. Now, there are top 10 best body gesture that we can remember for being confident and a good communicator and among top 10 best body gesture the first one is a smile and a kind of confidence. So, a smile and be confident a positive outlook will get you far in life even if you do not feel confident it is important to portray it after all the more positive your outlook is on certain situations, the more confident you will become. For one, being confident will help other people to be more comfortable around you. So, keeping a smile on your face in spite of stress and hectic schedule gives you a success and a sign of true professional. Stop the negative thinking now because that won't help anything. 
and this type of toxic behavior will work against you. Instead, remember to focus on the positive things only and be confident in what you are doing. Always make sure that you are smiling and not frowning and make it a point to be both confident and friendly. But at the same time, be sure that your smile is not forced. That is to say that your smile should not be artificial. It should be a natural smile that makes your activity, your gesture, your body language quite natural. Direct eye contact. This is also very important because it indicates face to face conversation. One of the most important body gestures to remember is to make direct eye contact. This body gesture shows that you are listening and are interested in what is being said. If you are in a large group, be sure to make eye contact with everyone and do not focus on only one person. That is to say that you have to look around at everyone's face to make them involved in your discussion. Also, do not break eye contact too soon because this could imply that you are not trustworthy. And this is a very natural, normal indication. If you make eye contact, that will show your confidence, that will show that you are a trustworthy person. So, keeping eye contact to some extent is very important. Be interested and listen. People like to talk, so always be sure that you are listening and look interested in what the other person is saying. If you are genuinely interested in what other people have to say, then that is going to show. Set up a straight. Not only is good posture advantageous for your health, but at the same time it is also excludes confidence. It is essential to sit up straight and not to hold your head down. If you learn lean forward, you could come off as aggressive to others. But on the other hand, if you lean back, you could come off as lazy or arrogant. So, keep your head up and shoulder back at all times and be aware of your posture when both sitting and standing. Facial expressions very important part of body language. So, your facial expressions will say a lot about you and people will be watching for your reaction when it comes to things such as business negotiations or other types of meetings. One of the most important things to remember is to smile naturally. Keep your chin up and keep your eyes level. This will send a message of positivity and trustworthiness. Being able to control your facial expressions will help you immensely. And it is something that you should spend some time thinking about. Look like you are listening. That is also one of the important posture. You show that you are keen, you are interested in other conversation. In this day and age, people are constantly connected to their say, cell phone 24 hours and 7 days a week. While it is wonderful that technology has evolved so much, it is also comes with many downsides. It is essential to put down the phone and actually listen to what people are saying. This will also help increase participation if you are speaking with a group of people. Being attentive will imply that you care about what people have to say and it says a lot about your personality. Other people 
want to do business with people who genuinely show interest and are engaged. That is to say that a kind of involvement is required. Now, not when listening to someone speak, that is showing a feedback, showing that you are an active listener, nodding once every once in, uh, in a while when someone is speaking will imply that you are not only listening but are actually interested in what others are saying. A nod will help get the message across that you agree with what the other person is saying. As well, it also shows encouragement. Relax your body. Don't be very conscious. Don't maintain an artificial posture. People are going to sense if you are not at ease in certain situations, especially in some type of meeting. The first thing to try is to relax your shoulders and take some deep breaths. Since a lot of people hold a lot of their tension in the shoulders and neck area, don't be afraid to move your shoulders and neck a little in order to loosen up a bit. That is very important point to make you a normal, a genuine speaker as well as listener. In addition, being able to control breathing actually has a lot to do with good body language because it will help you be more relaxed. This will lead to more confidence which will be passed along to the people involved. And as we discuss, it is very important part of learning and maintaining good communication skills. Keep your head up as we discussed that it is very important for a good body language. Don't look down because it will imply to other people that you are not paying attention and you don't want to hear what others have to say. Keeping your head down can imply many things such as boredom or disagreement in what is being discussed. So, it is important to keep your head up at all times when either speaking or being spoken to. Mirror the other person's behavior. This is an important behavior to keep in mind and it is something that will need to be both practiced and observed over time. If you are unaware of this technique, the act of mirroring is to allow your body to reflect the other person's behavior. This is a wonderful way to build a good rapport with other people because it reflects both interest and enthusiasm in what is being said. It is important that the act of mirroring is done subtly and as it is definitely an art to be learned. This is a proven method that has been researched and found to be very effective in many different types of social and business settings. Now, as we discuss top 10 best body gesture, we need to discuss top 10 worst body gesture. Because in talking, in conversation, we may slip some of the point to make our conversation dialogue fruitful. Therefore, we need to know that what kind of body posture should not be posed. Not making eye contact, as we discussed, that eye contact shows that you are a trustworthy person, that gives, that develops a faith in you. So, eye contact is important and the in top 10 worst body gesture is not making eye contact. There is a fine balance when it comes to making eye contact. It is important to look people in the eye 
but don't stare. However, if you don't make direct eye contact, it can appear as if you are lying or have something to hide. That is why I said that eye contact gives a kind of trust, faith. Otherwise, you appear to be a highly untrustworthy person. It is also important that you do not look down to study your hands or mess with your fingernails. Not only is this rude, but it will make it look like you are not interested in what the other person has to say. It is a kind of humiliation, insult. It is a kind of arrogance that you are aloof, you are indifferent, indifferent to other communication. So, please take care of this, crossing your arms because knowingly unknowingly we pose different postures while talking to a person, but crossing arms is one of the top worst body gesture. When your arms are crossed, it normally implies that you are defensive about something. For this reason, it is important to always keep your arms at your side, especially if you are discussing an important topic with other people. In addition, it is important to ensure not to look stiff and to have a natural look at all times. We have already discussed this that we should maintain a relaxed appearance, a very genuine kind of facial expression to make the conversation genuine. Fidgeting, what is this? This is also the worst body behavior. This is not only one of the worst body gestures, but it is also one of the most annoying to the people around you. It is imperative to focus on other person and do not be fidgety at all. This includes things such as playing with a pen, chewing on your nails, moving your hands around a lot or anything else that can make it appear as if you are not paying attention to what the other person is saying. So, be careful making a small gestures other than you know paying attention to other communication is fidgeting, appearing stressed or anxious. It is very important not to show your stress or anxiety to others because there is nothing positive that can come from it from one for one it can show weakness which has no place in the world of non-verbal communication. So, always remember whether it is your interview, your group discussion, your classroom teaching or you are addressing a meeting. Try to make your appearance relaxed. Even if you are anxious or stressed, one of the quickest and best fixes for this is to smile more. Not only will it put you at ease, but it will look as if you are confident even if you are not. So, even you have to take care of this that how much a smile you have to put on your face. Negative facial expressions. It might be a good idea to take a day to pay attention to what you are portraying to others with your facial expressions. But there are certain facial expressions which can give off the wrong vibe to the people around you thus creating a negative interpersonal communication experience. Even innocently sometimes you make different kind of facial expression. So, please take note of that frowning biting your lip, arching your eyebrows, flared nostrils and scowling just to name a few. 
these types of facial expressions can imply many things such as you are upset, you are defensive, you get bored, just to name a few. There can be many similar to these. In addition, never touch your face as this implies insincerity and even distress. That shows that you are nervous. If you are confident, your body posture will have a very smooth kind of gesture. We can say. Now, I must say, believe it or not, your handshake can say a lot about you. Be sure to always give a firm handshake that exudes self-confidence. A weak handshake won't make a good impression and it will imply that you are not confident in the situation. So, shaking hand is an art. Now, checking the time, if we talk of so many things, well, punctuality that is also very important. When you take time to look at your phone, watch or even a clock on the wall or a desk, it implies that you do not want to be there and you have more important things that you could be doing. So, never look at the time when someone is in the middle of discussing something with you. Not only will this make a bad impression, but it can also be seen as being rude. So, checking the time is nothing but showing very, very bad gesture, sometimes very humiliating. Tapping your fingers, pen, etc. While speaking with someone or meeting someone for the first time, you should never tap anything because this will imply impatience or annoyance to the other person. Remember, you must have seen people, you know, shaking legs that also shows restlessness. So, never ever trap your fingers, pen or feet because you want people to know you are interested in what they are saying. Do not be fake, that is also very important point. Now, what is this? Probably one of the most important things you can do is not to be fake. As we discussed that eye contact is trustworthy, being relaxed and having a good body gesture is showing your confidence. So, this fakeness quality should not be there whenever you are making conversation. This is one thing that many people will pick up on and it will not reflect well on you. And remember, you only have one chance to make a good impression. Always be genuine and let people know that you are honestly interested in what they have to say. This will get you far in both your business and personal life. Do not stand too close or too far away. Give people their space. This is also one of the very important non-verbal communication and also barriers to communication a space between the two people. Never impede in someone else's space because this can give others the wrong impression. A standing too close to someone can imply aggression or being too pushy. So, please take care of this. If you, if you have intimate relationship with somebody, you can reduce the space. But if it is a professional relation, you have to maintain a considerable space between the other. On the other hand, standing too far away can make people feel that you are being stand, standoffish for some reason and it could make people suspicious. Just always be aware of a person's personal space.
if the person you are talking to take some steps back you are probably too close as you go along in life things will be much easier if you have effective communication skills when it comes to business this particular type of communication can help to expand your leadership skills be aware of what not only what is going on around you but also of how you are portraying yourself to others you can practice this you can mirroring this to know your gesture and posture your facial expression practice makes perfect so take the time to think about the different ways in which you communicate there is always something that everyone can improve when it comes to effective body language and how you can enhance improve your body language through discussion through practice through mirroring and through you know making constant conversation so once again i would say that the most important thing in communication is hearing what is not said what does it mean it means your body language it means not your word your voice or your speech it means that how you pose yourself to other it means that what kind of background you have while you talking to others it means that how much you care of others you bother about others and it means that how much you want to excel in your professional life so friend body language is one of the important parts of interpersonal skills and as i said earlier also that we tend to take it for granted but i must say that in professional life it gives you lots of weightage if you take care of your body language work on it practice it read good books on it listen to good speaker orator and be extrovert not introvert develop confidence the more you read the more you speak the more you'll develop your communication with these words i just want to conclude today's session thank you very much